Alright, T, what's up, guys? Here we are, hole four, Chateau Whistler. And um, we're gonna just try to get this one out in play here. Maybe with a little counter curl. You can see wind in the face. We're just gonna try to get this up here as far as possible. Biggest thing is that kind of counter curl to kind of neutralize the slope. Try to get this up here as accurately as we can. So coming off maybe just a percent or two when the overpower. Just to make sure that we can keep this in play. You see a lot of slope, a lot of left slope here. You won't have to worry about it too much on headwinds. It usually naturally kind of checks up. Now, I typically won't use the Orion. Biggest reason, it's kind of lack of ball guide. It's usually less. You typically want to stick with things with back uh, the backspin. You can see 54 versus 74. That's one of the main reasons I don't use the Orion until it gets to a level 10. It's because I don't want to play something with low ball guide. And it really only takes off at a 10. So we do want the ball guide. Keep that ball guide up high. Makes it easier to hold out. Even if it was right at the max line there, we'll just try to wing this. This will probably be about 8 rings for max. And, you know, my ring span for this club, I'm thinking somewhere around 23. So I'm definitely thinking, especially pulling off the green here, maybe low 60s. So I'm thinking somewhere around here, low 60s. 7, 6, because I'm going to be pulling down to low ground. And we're going to keep this ball guide short, let it kind of stretch out. Maybe even shorter than this. I bet you it's going to jump forward a tiny bit. So let's try right around here. And seven six seven seven. And again, since I've moved off to low ground, I might even under pull. So no more than seven six here. Seven six to seven five because we pulled off the green, which you can see is much lower ground. Here you can see all in all it's coming in pretty good. And a little bit of right bounces there. So you'll see as a result, we did, you know, I almost should have just stuck with the 7 7. But, um, you know, it's really because of the elevated green that that happened. So they would have bounced much more straight had we not, you know, had that green a little bit above our feet. So you do have to kind of know when to kind of overplay versus when to underplay based on slope, things like this. You know, how's the bounce outs going to be? So keep that in mind. Good luck. I'll see you guys on the next one.